In this short video, I'm going to show you how to add calculator to Squarespace. Unfortunately, since this functionality is not available through Squarespace itself, we are going to have to make use of a third party platform. Don't worry though, it's completely free and also very easy to set up. The first thing I want you to do is to go and click the first link in the description of this video, which will take you to this website right here. Once you land on this page, go ahead and hover over the widgets button in the navigation menu. And from here, I want you to go to forms and then I want you to go down a bit and then you will see calculator, which will be option number two. At least that's in my case. Then you'll be taken to the calculator widget uh, page here. Go ahead and click on the create widget for free button and then you'll be taken to the calculator template section. Let me just move myself out of the way here so you can see uh, more easily. As you can see, there's a large number of different calculators for different needs. So for example, if you want a cost calculator, go here. If you want a finance calculator, go here and then so forth and so forth. I'm gonna go for a standard cost calculator. For example, this one right here, product price calculator. As you can see, this is what it looks like on the right hand side. Uh, if you go with this one, this is what it's gonna look like. Don't worry about the actual design or the look of the calculator just yet, regardless of which option you choose, because you can customize pretty much anything to do with them anyway. So once you have selected the template that you want to go with, head over to continue with this template in the bottom left corner of the screen right here, and then you'll be taken to a new section. As you can see, this is where you can customize the calculator to your liking. So for example, based on the different type of calculator that you choose, these may differ slightly. So go through all of these and set up your calculator. On the left-hand side here, you will see style and settings. So uh, for the settings here, you can basically customize some basic settings uh, to, uh, to do with the widget. Um, you can also add custom CSS and JavaScript right here. In terms of style, let's say you don't like the way it looks here. You can use one of these to make this bigger or smaller. You can change the font, you can change the colors and so forth. I'm not gonna get into too much detail about this because I don't wanna take that much of your time. So once your calculator looks just the way you want it to, go ahead and click add to website for free. And then this is gonna go ahead and create your widget. Within a couple of seconds, you'll be taken to this page here. But before you are prompted to this page, what you need to do is go ahead and log in into the platform. You can either create a standalone account through lsite.com itself, or you can log in with Google, which is what I've done because it's much easier and quicker. Once you've done this, go ahead and click on publish in the top right corner of the screen. And then here we need to select a plan. Now, since this is the first widget we're using through Elfside, uh, Dot com we can go for the free plan right here however in the future if you do decide to use multiple of the widgets you will have to go for one of the more premium plans right here but for now we're going to stick with the free plan so click on select and then this is going to take us to this page right here which is where we can copy the code for our calculator widget go ahead and copy the code and head over to your squarespace website once you are on your squarespace website go ahead and click on edit in the top left corner of the screen so you can enter the editor then what I want you to do is to add a separate section depending on where you want your calculator to be. In my case, I'm going to add a section right here and I want it to be a blank section just like this. And then in the top left corner of the section, you will see this add block button. Click on this, scroll down a bit and you will see this code button right here. Click on that and then that is going to add a code block, which is where uh, we can add the code for the widget. So go ahead and click on the pencil icon right here. And then this is going to open up a brand new window for the mode. Make sure that it's set to HTML and then delete the first line of text right here and replace it with the code that we just copied. Go ahead and do that. And in a couple of seconds, your widget will be updated. Now, all you have to do is go ahead and resize it. Don't worry about the script disabled message. This is only available in the editor. You will not actually see it once uh, it is in the um, in preview mode or once you publish the website and people get to actually see your website. So resize the calculator to your liking and then go ahead save and let's have a look at what it looks like in preview mode of course if you don't like the look of it you can go back and change it as you can see that's what it looks like for me so if i just do like 45 right here it calculates uh this porcelain yeah there we go it works just fine and then obviously the button here that will take me to the tiles shop or whatever it might be uh, for this particular calculator and yeah that's pretty much it that's how to add a calculator in squarespace if you have any questions please let me know down in the comments below and i'll do my best to help you out